Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this video, we are going to see what is Terraform backends and a Terraform remote state. So in previous session, we already seen uh, what is Terraform state. So we'll go back again to our Terraform code and we'll try to revise what we have seen for Terraform state. So what I will do, I'll just uh, execute a Terraform plan command. Okay, so it is saying it will create one resource, one storage bucket. So we'll just uh, do Terraform apply. I'm just using this flag so it will not ask for a prompt to select as okay and it created one bucket and it created a tf state file so why it created a tf state file at this directory so it is because we didn't mention anything where to store the state file so what defines the storage location of the state file is a backend so if we are mentioning any backend it will store the state file at that particular location so backend is nothing but we should tell where the state file should be stored so the backend defines where the terraform store the state file okay so here if we are not mentioning anything it means it is using the default backend and default backend is always at the local storage so wherever your main terraform folder is there it will store the terraform state with terraform.tf state file at your local directory now just take an example i created the storage bucket here okay and i have a team of four to five member and one of my team member don't know that i already created a bucket so now he want to create a storage bucket again because he don't know that i already created the storage bucket and if i try to do terraform plan again here with the same code it will say no changes infrastructure matches the configuration because it is checking the state file that my already bucket is present in the state file so in state file resource storage bucket this is already present so even if i do terraform plan again or terraform apply also it won't make any changes because it is checking the state file okay now one of my colleague or one of my team member uses the same terraform file code so what i will do i'll just upload this key.json and main.json file i'll go to now just i will use my cloud shell editor as a second user so the first user i am running terraform from my vs code and there is one more user which is using the terraform from the cloud shell and here i'll just create one file main.tf I'll just create the file here main.tf okay I will use the same code and I'll copy paste the same code I'll save it and I'll create one more file key.json and I will copy paste this JSON file code okay now I'll just open a terminal and in my terraform code now I am trying to create a same storage bucket so if I am using terraform plan in my local from user 1 it is saying no changes required and bucket is already created now if I do a terraform let me check files here we have now key.json and main.tf with the same code so if i do terraform plan here okay it is uh, giving error just because of the previous configuration so let me do terraform in it just I'm removing the last configuration 
okay now i will do terraform plan okay now you could see the same code it is trying to create one bucket because here there is no state file if you see here is no state file where it could check because this code i created and pushed created state file in my local backend in my laptop or in my windows system but the second user is running from a cloud shell and he is not having a state file there because he will create his own state file in his local directory if we do terraform apply so if i do terraform apply now so second user will be creating one more stf state file automatically at this location and the code will fail because bucket is already present so you could see your previous request to create a named backend succeed and you already own it and if i see here the state file is already there and i could see the content of terraform state file so there is no resource even i am using the same code i am not having the same terraform state file so this is the challenge when you are working in a group of team or if in working with a multiple member so for that we need to use a remote state so what is remote state so remote state it means instead of storing your state file at local so here i am storing at local instead of storing at local it will store at the remote location and this can be defined using the backends so in our previous slide we see so backend defines where the terraform stores its data so what i will do i will make change in my terraform code here and i'll just mention where should i store the terraform state file now i don't want to store at the local i want to store it at a storage location so what i will do i'll just do terraform block and i'll write a backend block and i'll write gcs and i'll just give name or let me check what we have for the terraform state so we have bucket name and prefix so here i'll just mention bucket so bucket name i'll just give gcp so which bucket i want to use so i want to use bucket gcp dev 000 so bkt gcp dev hyphen 000 okay so i'll just save it i'll go to storage bucket again and i'll see if anything is there okay so i'll just remove this folder okay so i don't have anything in this folder now now i want to run a terraform in it again then we'll see if i get any error so here it is showing it's not back end so i need to remove s it's only a back end i'll run again now it is initializing backend and it is saying do you want to copy existing state to the new backend so earlier backend was default local backend and new backend will be our gcs bucket so i want to copy the state so i will check yes and it copied my state file to the new backend i will just see if it copied now or it will be copied during plan so it copied my state file here so it will use the different name now as we are using the remote backend okay so now i will do terraform plan okay now it is expected it is showing no changes now we'll use the same changes in our second user code now earlier it was giving error when we are executing from the second user now the both should give the 
same message okay so i'll run a terraform init and plan again i'll use terraform init so now it's successfully configured back in gs gcs so here it shows no changes now this user also see no changes if i do terraform plan Okay. now it is also showing the no changes so even if multiple users are working on the same resource they will refer to the same state file which is available at the storage bucket and not at the local so one more thing if you check now whenever you are trying to execute a terraform plan or a terraform apply so here let me go back here so it is saying acquiring a state lock it means no other user can work on the uh, that same resource at the same time so if i do terraform apply now and same time i will do terraform apply here also and here also okay now i recreated this so here acquiring state lock at this file at the same time if any other user is trying to create or use that state file it is saying error message are writing to default tf lock failed at least one of the precondition you specified did not hold so operation type apply so this user is already working on this so state lock is applied at a particular moment by only one user Check from being written by multiple users so once that command is approved now if i execute We'll see what will happen and now it executed properly so the two users cannot apply at the same time because we are using the remote backend and state file cannot be written by two users at the same time so this is the way we can configure our remote backend so this is a simple example for configuring the remote backend as gcs bucket and if you can see in the state file if i show you the sys file it will have the same content as we had at our local so it will hold the resources bucket tf000 so that's it for terraform backend and a remote state so there are multiple backends which are used in terraform but this is the simple example for remote backend and we'll see other backend options for Terraform Cloud later. So thank you for watching this video.